Solo developers make a bet on themselves to build software with no guarantee of ever getting any customer. Why would we choose to do that? Well, it's because we want to build stuff we actually care about. We want the independence that that brings, being able to travel the world. And we want to earn an income as we're doing that. But to be honest, it's not easy. And if you've done like I've done and you've launched several products and they haven't taken off like you wanted to, it can be so easy to get demoralized by that and quit and go back to whatever you were doing before and let that dream fade away. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. And one key thing that I've discovered is basically not to focus so much on the end result, whether that's having a hugely successful SaaS product with hundreds of customers and tens of thousands of dollars of monthly recurring revenue, or however that end result might look for you. Don't focus so much on that because when you focus on the end result, you actually lose what's important and that's enjoying the process as you go because that's kind of why we got into this game. We want to enjoy building software. We want to do it in our own way. We want to build things that we care about. And if we're not enjoying the process, then what the hell is the point of it? So I'm learning to not focus so much on the end result. I'm learning to enjoy myself along the way. And the way I'm doing that is through what I'm gonna tell you right now. So the first thing that I'm doing is building things as I go, because every human being has changing interests. When I started out on this journey four years ago, I had just come out of 13 years as a Java developer and I was still in that mindset. So one of the first things I built was a course for Java developers. Then I got interested in building my own software products and creating front end stuff. I was also getting interested in YouTube. So I created some software products around YouTube. And fast forward a little bit more, and now I'm helping people on a one-to-one -one basis to grow an audience on YouTube through my own coaching program. So the point is that your interests change, and I find it really exciting that you can be building things, and that doesn't always have to be software. It could be like an educational product, an ebook, or anything else. You can be building things along the way, and what you build is basically a reflection of your current interests and like you don't know what your interests are going to be in three years time you just know that your current self will be pleasantly surprised by how how your interests have changed and what you build is is going to reflect that the next thing that i do to stop focusing on the end result and start having a bit more fun to be honest is documenting things as i go so obviously that's what I'm doing right here on this YouTube channel. I'm trying to share some of the insights I'm having as I go through this solo developer journey. And that's just fun on its own. For me, creating videos is just fun and like setting up these lights is fun and holding this little microphone for some reason is fun as well. You can document your journey in any way that feels good for you, whether that's writing a few posts on X or creating a blog or creating a video like this. Documenting your journey is fun, even if you don't find the success you want from a particular software launch, shall we say, or SaaS launch. You can still turn that into a valuable lesson and you can create a piece of content around that and other people can find that inspirational. So you can turn a, let's say, a failure or a non-success into a success by document it as you go. and. That's pretty cool. So the next thing that makes me enjoy this a lot more is being able to travel the world as I carry on my solo developer journey. Right now I'm in the island, on the island, shall I say, of Gran Canaria. And I love just being able to take this laptop with me, very small MacBook Air. And as long as I've got that, I can basically do the things that I know I need to be doing anywhere in the world. And I can be here in a Airbnb room or I can go down to a cafe and I can be experiencing like the local culture or just the local lifestyle, which right here is just chilling by the beach and enjoying good weather when basically back in the UK, the weather's awful. So make use of the independence that being a solo developer lends you. And even if that doesn't mean you are gonna travel abroad, maybe that can just be going down to a local coffee shop and changing your scenery every once in a while because 
just going to Starbucks or going to a new cafe can make things a lot more fun. So these are my ways of enjoying the process right now rather than thinking to the end result. And the fact is you only live once. You only get to be a solo developer one time in your life. And rather than constantly feel anxious about what you're building or how it's gonna go, enjoy this one time that you have. And I think if you can do that, it's gonna put you in the right positive frame of mind that's gonna allow you to actually learn the new skills you need to learn to one day turn this into a real success. And that, my friend, is gonna be pretty cool to witness. So I'll see you in the next one.